All right, guys. So we are here with uh, David Ochoa from the Real Monarchs USL side for our segment Between the Ears. David, thanks for coming on, man. No, thank you for having me. <laughs> so, you know, with the Between the Ears segment, what I like to do is, you know, have uh, each goalkeeper talk about the past week and, you know, essentially, you know, their great run of form in the USL. But give me kind of a little bit of a summary of of your life to this point because, uh, you know, you're the second youngest goalkeeper to ever make their USL debut, current uh, U.S. Youth National Team residency program, uh, a lot of, a big, big resume. So just t- kind of take me through because you are from Oxnard, California, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm from Oxnard, California. And so how did you make your way to uh, Real Salt Lake? Um, well, it all started, I went to Dallas Cup and then from there, uh, teams saw me play. And it was Chivas from Mexico, Monterrey from Mexico, and then RSL and like Galaxy. So I had a good, like a decent performance in Dallas Cup. So then after that, uh, those teams were interested. So I kind of choose between them. So I ended up going to Chivas in Mexico. I spent around uh, six to eight months there. Wow. I couldn't play because of there was a fee for what the time where my parents had to live in the country for me to be able to play there. Uh-huh. I was just pretty much there just training and then playing in like scrimmages or maybe there's like an international tournament I went to like two international tournaments with them and I got to play in those but I, I kind of got tired of it just not playing and stuff so I ended up reaching back to RSL because um, Galaxy was a bit far from me so I would have to commute a lot just to train stuff so I ended up hitting RSL and then they gave me the, the chance and I went um to there there in Arizona at the time CG and then I guess it was like a tryout and then I tried it out I had one training session, and then after that, uh, they were interested, and they signed me up for the for the season. For sure. How old are you, How old were you at the time? Uh, I was I want to say fourteen or fifteen. Uh, a lot of things are being thrown at you. Obviously, you know you had Chivas coming at you. You have uh, you're fourteen years old, super young, and then all of a sudden, uh, you almost have to move not across the country, but to a different state at that young of an age. How was that experience like? Obviously, you know, leaving your family, leaving your friends. Um, yeah, just, you know, shed some light on that for me. Yeah, um, I'm not going to lie. It was, it was a bit tough being away from your family, your mom and stuff. But, it, I mean, at the time, it's what I wanted to do. So I was pretty committed to it. And then that's just wanting to become a professional soccer player was pretty much my motivation. So I just fought through that, worked hard. Yeah, pretty much. That's awesome, man. And I think uh, I read that you, you decided to go with the U.S. youth national teams instead of uh, going with uh, Mexico. Uh, is that Was that because of what your experience with Chivas, or is that just a preference to obviously represent the country and anything like that? Not really. Um, it was just a bit tough because, like, the schedule in Mexico was a bit uh, different than the one here in the U.S. So when I was with RSL, a lot of the camps with Mexico were through, like, a big tournament or something, and... Uh, Martin, he wouldn't release me. Mm-hmm. So I, I ended up missing like two of those. And then obviously I was mad. So Martin, he called some of the U.S. national team guys. And then I got a call up for the, for a camp with them. And then I did good. Actually, after my first uh, camp with the national team, I got called into residency right after that. So then that pretty much kept me from staying here. <laughs> yeah. And so after that, obviously, you know, with, with the RSL and uh, you had your first debut game last season. You were still 17 with uh, the Monarchs, um, had your first debut game. Uh, and then in that in that kind of time period, you were uh, you got a call from I heard Manchester United. Is that was that true? I heard the rumors. I don't know. So take me. Yeah. How, how was that? How, did, how was that feeling like? And again, man, a lot of stuff's being thrown at you at a young age. And uh, a lot of people nowadays, we only hear about it instead of, uh, you know, actually experiencing it. So uh, coming from the source, let us know how was that and how were your emotions going into that? Yeah. Um, after my uh, my professional debut, a, a couple of teams were interested. So I ended up going on trials with some teams. And yeah, Manchester United was one of them. And uh, it was it was a great experience, honestly. It was it's just different, honestly, just different like type of lifestyle over there, just how, how focused they are on the, on soccer. And like that's pretty much all they have over there. So it was, it, it was a good experience, honestly. Let's uh, so let's fast forward now to today. And, uh, you know, first three weeks of of uh, the season have gone by. And there's a reason why I have you on the show. David. So, I mean, um, you know, you've had some you have not some success, some very big games in the past few past few weeks, some big time saves for your team, really, you know, preserving that shutout last week. So, again, man, at a young age, how is it being the outright starter now? And how has that experience been for you? Um, honestly, 
it's a good experience, uh, especially having like all the coaches, uh, having like so much trust in you and like putting you in the team sheet and stuff. It feels good, honestly. It gives me gives me more confidence to go out there and actually compete against older people. So I, I have to give credit to the coaches. For sure. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, again, uh, I want to just end this segment off by if you have any advice for any of the young kids who are trying to pursue a professional contract at a young age, anything that uh, you wish you had known when you were going through the process? Um, no, honestly, it's just hard work. Honestly, I think, especially for me, coming from such a small city, honestly, this is a pretty small city where I'm from, mm-hmm. uh, just how far hard work can take you because I never thought I would make it this far. I don't know a lot of people like doubted me uh, when I was younger. So just hard work. And like, if you're going to put your all into something, like make sure it's your all, like leave everything. Sacrifice, huh? That's pretty much, yeah. Yeah, sacrifice. Gee. All right, man. Well, David, I appreciate you coming on, man. Uh, this is, uh, I, I love this segment because you hear stories from, from people that you would never think of, you know what I mean? And for you, it's like, you know, you're a big name and uh, um, hopefully the career and everything, the trajectory continues to grow and it sounds like, You've learned a lot from your experience, so uh, best uh, best of luck to you the rest of the way, and I hope to have you on here again uh, later on in the season. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you for having me.